All right, so not even going to hold y'all, not even going to waste y'all time. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. Week one for the Carolina Panthers versus New Orleans Saints. We lose 47 to 10. Honestly, I'm not shocked. I, I said in my video last week that New Orleans secondary is pretty scary. And New Orleans has been a formidable team in the NFC South for the last few years. They've been the top dog, them in Tampa Bay. So I'm not shocked that we lost that game. Score, kind of, bit, kind of a bit shocked by how much the score was. But I'm not going to be on the bandwagon of... Panthers fans who are immediately saying Bryce is the worst pick in franchise history. Bryce is doing this, that, and the third. Blase, blase, blase. No. I'm going to be a little more lenient in my response because you have to think about it. You had Frank Wright, who was trash. Then you had... You had, you had Frank Reich as a coach. Then you had an interim coach. Then you throw in Dave Canales with a new OC. And all of that put together is just going to be growing pains. You know what I mean? Now, did Bryce make some very bad throws during the game? Absolutely. I'm not going to take that. His first interception and his second interception, complete overthrows. And I don't know what he saw. I don't know. How he felt. For me, Bryce didn't look confident in making certain throws. And I think he held the ball way too long in certain in certain moments. There were plenty of times where I felt he could have ran the ball, taken off, gotten a few yards, and then slid for about five, six, maybe a first down here and there. But when it came to passing, Bryce did not look confident that he could make the throws. And then some of the throws he did try, he threw them too long. I am still a firm believer that had Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud swapped spots, we'd be talking the same way about C.J. Stroud that we do with Bryce Young right now. Because the coaching, the whirlwind of the organization as it is, there's no continuity. So they're building the foundation on what to build off of. I, I guess personally... I'm not going to be too hard on Bryce. I am going to critique him, and I think he has to be better and be more confident, and I think that's where Canales is going to help Bryce because he's built that confidence in QBs. But he's got to trust himself. He's got to trust his receivers more. O-line. Uh, they gave up four sacks. That's still a lot for me. I don't like that, but one per quarter, if you want to average it out, okay, cool. That's neither here nor there. But it didn't feel like they only gave up four sacks. And I think that's because Bryce was probably hurried or rushed and flushed out of the pocket, having to throw it away numerous times. So the O-line has got to step it up there on that aspect. And I'm really just... Focusing on one side of the ball right now. And then I'll get to the defensive side of the ball. But O-line, I need you to step it up. And in regards to giving up sacks, Bryce, I need you to be able to see <laughs> Nickel Blitz's dog. I need you to understand that coverages. Cam's even talked about this on 4th and, uh, and one. How when he comes to the line, he can see pretty much what a coverage is going to do based off the safeties. Maybe get in this film room with him or Aaron Rodgers. How Aaron Rodgers is able to tell when somebody's blitzing, even if they're showing it or not. But New Orleans jumped on you because they saw you weren't picking up that nickel blitz. And it was kind of crazy. I can't deny that. Bryce, you got to be able to read that a little bit better. Our rushing attack has got to get better, bro. Our rushing attack is atrocious. 58 yards? 58 yards in four quarters, bro? That's it? Granted, I think of how many attempts that we have and look at the numbers. Yeah. 
20 attempts, 58 rushing yards. That's not going to help us, dog. <laughs> That's not going to help us. This this fucking sick. It's trash. Do better. I, I get Miles Sanders, Ch Chuba Hubbard, like, I, bro, produce. Do something. I know I seem very nonchalant right now, and I might seem not as animated or as angry as a regular Panthers fan right now. Again, that's because I'm taking the more lenient approach. New coordinator, new head coach, new people in the system, growing pains. I'm trying to see the positive light. The one positive light is that Bryce Young got his first rushing TD of his career, which shocked the hell out of me. But he got his first one of his career. Now on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all got to be better. Secondary. Y'all got to be better, bro. I know the offense is going to struggle, but y'all have been the staple in this team for the last few years. Even when we were trash, y'all were a great defense. Like, I don't know what happened in the secondary to get torched by Derek Carr through the air like that. The ground game, eh. But I'm I'm sick of how we got torched through the air. There were multiple times, like, Derek Carr shouldn't have been able to complete certain passes. And there were multiple times where there was just broken coverage. The very first TD, the very first touchdown pass, JC wanted, I think JC expected safety help and the safety bit on the left side so the right side post or the back side post was wide open and jc's kind of looking like bro where you at and rule of thumb as the safety bro y'all know this all football players know this if you are playing safety you always got to remain the deepest threat you can always come up and hit somebody but you can't let nobody get behind you bro that's grade school that's rule number one on one we shouldn't have to have this discussion. <laughs> but we're human. It happens. I get it. But at the end of the day, bro, there a 47 spot. Have some pride about yourself. Have some pride about the team. Have some pride about yourself going forward, bro. I don't I I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know what's going on, but have some pride about yourself. Have some pride about where you're going going forward. Overall, I will give this game a D in terms of rating. Definitely could have executed a lot better. Only reason I'm not giving it an F is because I am being more lenient on the offense and learning how they're operating and whatnot, but defensively, y'all y'all really hurt this grade. It could have been a C if y'all could have stepped up more, but that is what it is. And lastly, losing Derrick Brown for the season, that's going to hurt the defense even more. I don't like hearing that news, knowing that he has a serious knee injury in week one and a 47-10 to 10 blowout. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, but I have said on this channel, I have already stated, I'm not expecting much of Carolina this year. My requirement, my desire as a fan is a 5-12 and 12 season at minimum. Just do that. I'm not going to sit here and say we need to be playoff bound this year. I'm not going to sit there and say we need to be the number one seed this year. I'm not even going to sit there and say we need to be wild card eligible. Just finish with a better record than what we did last year i think that is monumental in moving forward it's finishing with a better record getting better bro if we can do that and finish with minimum five and twelve and then next year build on that and go seven and ten or eight and nine then i think we're pounding in the right direction but it's week one i'm not gonna harp on it too much i don't think there's need for 
all the bells and red flags to be going off. I really don't. For those of you who are automatically saying, oh, Bryce is just trash. Ah, nah, 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 we need to go ahead and give it. Calm down. Calm down, bro. You take everything into account. The organization's lack of leadership and direction. The constant changes with, with head coaches and OCs. And now the new offensive line and trying to get some of the new pieces in together to fit. And Bryce is only in his second year in the league. Everybody wants the instant ramen mentality of like, oh, microwave, we're hot now. We got the number one pick. All of a sudden, we're the number one team in in the conference or we're automatically playoff bound. Calm down. Sometimes you just got to have a slow buildup. And I know it sucks with everything being so instant in today's day and age. You want instant results. You want instant results. But we got to make steady progress and steady improvement. Now, if Bryce is making these same bad decisions by the end of the year or midway through next year, oh, yeah, we got to get rid of him. Because at that point, you're not showing progress. If Bryce... I won't even say that. If Bryce has two full seasons with Canales and this OC, and he's still making bad reads or bad passes like he did today or like he did yesterday, then yes, go ahead, start looking in the market for a new quarterback because at that point, there's no improvement there. There's nothing to work on. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to. Harp on it too much. I'm not going to sit here and say a whole lot, but I think we can just take a break, relax, look at the entire picture, and see why we're failing. I think I think that's that's really the mindset that I have going forward. But next week we play the Chargers. I think we can beat the Chargers. I honestly think we can beat the Chargers. It's going to be a dogfight, but I think there's a possibility to beat the Chargers. But that's all I got to say, guys. As always, Panther Nation, keep on pounding. Peace. Much love to y'all. Later days.